Hey fish tank people, it's Blake. This is the 36 gallon. Did a water change two days ago. Got back from the trip. Uh, got back and two of my fish died. The OB peacock, which wasn't eating. And the uh, Venestus, which had a hole in its stomach for some reason. Uh, so I was planning on them dying. Not. Oh, it's not a good thing, and it's not a bad thing. I guess it got them out of their misery. Uh, every fish in this tank has grown like double. They're double what they were before. Uh, there's a Senate on us. I don't know if you saw that or not. I don't think he did. But anyway, let's see if I can get him real quick. There he is right there. Oh, he just flew back in. Um, because my mom was feeding the fish. And then the fry tank. Uh, nothing does in the fry tank. Uh, I did a, I just filled this one back up from the evaporation of the water. It, it has actually gone down a little, which is bad, but still. Four fish in here, and they're all eating good. They're growing a lot. Four, there you go. And, got salt. I got salt for the aquarium. Aquarium salt. Uh, Got a siphon from the aquarium lady. I guess you could call her. That's what she said to call her if she's listening to this video. Uh, there's a sponge filter way down in there. I can't even, you can see the top of it. Uh, stuff over here that I got from aquarium lady. Uh, five gallon. I'm gonna transfer the fry over to the five gallon. I think it's. I'm gonna put it on my bookshelf. I don't know. I don't know if it's even going to be able to hold it. It's 40 pounds, so estimating 40 pounds, I'd say about 50 by the time I get everything in it. So, I might find a different place to put that. But, uh, I got all these air pumps. There's one, there's one, there's one. There's driftwood, driftwood. Uh, here's Tapo line. I don't even know if you've heard of it before. It's like a very good, uh, I guess you could say extension cord where you can plug all your plugs in. I think this, yeah, this is a, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a breeder rock. Or like a, just a quarantine kind of thing where you can set fish apart. More air pump. Uh, I've got a filter in here. I really haven't gone through any of this stuff though. There's a hose or something. Filter. I don't even know if that works. Uh, another filter in here. Um, I don't even know what that is. Oh, uh, cartridges. Uh, timer. Right here, timer. Um, and this is a this is a sponge filter, and it goes in the very back here, the corner of the tank, and it's good for shrimp and everything like that but I'm going to use it for the fry I think instead of using that filter over there the black one uh, I really haven't gone through any of this stuff and also while I was in Florida for my oh here let me show you this before I show you that I got tons of these things I got uh, the disposable filter cartridges for the the, uh, that have the activated carbon in it. Oh, I also got, which is in the car probably still. I don't know if my dad got it. I got a whole big jar. It's like a two and a half gallon jar of just activated carbon. So I can put extra activated carbon in my filter. Uh, I got these for the shell dwellers at a dollar store. Which they have a pretty big hole for the fish. And they're really soft. So I thought they'd be good for the shell dwellers. I did finally find the shell dwellers. I found them at a place in Nashville, which is about an hour away, that I normally go to, but uh, they had them. And I've never seen them there before, so I don't even know how they have them. But they have them. I'll be going there, I think, next week. But I don't know if I'll be getting them. It all depends on if I have this tank set up, this uh, the fry and the five gallon over there. Which I don't even have set up over there. Uh, 
end so that's it all depends on if I have everything set up and if I do I'll I'll get one probably because he said it was fifteen to twenty dollars. He was on the other side of the store, so he couldn't tell me how much it was. But I got a lot of stuff uh, to unpack. I'm gonna probably put an air pump in that tank right now because uh, it doesn't have an air pump in it. Uh, Nothing in this tank really. I really wanted to go get a Sinnoh today. I think I'll get one tomorrow. Another Sinodonis catfish for this tank because I love my Sinodonis for this one. And I think they're like six to seven bucks or something like that. Actually, I think they're eight. I'm not sure. But still, I'll see you guys on Fish Tank TV. A shout out to Two Stroke King, Mike Milky, Shane, uh, Dustin. Haven't seen you in a little while. Uh, don't. Haven't done very many videos. I guess that's what a baby does to you. <laughs> but I'll see you guys on the chat tonight. See ya. Bye.